Hi everyone, my name is Trevor McGee. Um, I've been skating for about a year now, but longboarding. And I am I can do one trick pretty much. Uh, I can just do um, an ollie, but I can't do it while moving. So I need your help. Alright. Hey man, so thanks a lot for sending your video. I really do appreciate it. I love teaching people from longboard to ollie. <laughs> Just like that. Cool. So that first ollie actually looked pretty good. Um, you're bending your knees. Okay, I'll do it wrong. Popping down, dragging your foot up, and yeah, it looks great. Let's see a rolling ollie now. It looks like you have no space. It might just be how the camera angle is, but it looks very cramped in there. And again, it's probably there's probably a lot of space. We're just not seeing it. Okay, so it looks like you have a much harder time with the rolling ollie. Yeah, if you can give me some help, that would mean a lot. Thanks. Cool, so again, thanks a lot for sending your video. I think it's super awesome that you started out longboarding and now you're moving to learning how to do tricks on a shortboard. Um, we should be teaching everybody to learn how to do awesome tricks so they can be incredible skaters. Cool, so... Your flat ground ollie looked pretty good. Um, flat ground, they're all flat ground. I should say you're not moving ollie. Um, definitely practice it more and 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 just build up your ability just so you can do it. It's kind of one of those things where when you can do it blindfolded, you don't have to think about it and nothing else is going through your mind at all, then you're ready to do it with a little bit of speed and then a little bit more speed and then a little bit more speed. Um, it looked like when you're going, you might have just been going a little bit too fast. Like I bet if you started out just going a bit slower, even if you like pop the ollie, then you basically stop with no speed. Well, you're building yourself up. So a little bit of speed to a little more speed to a little more speed. For me, watching your video and watching you do it when you're moving, it almost just looked like more of a commitment slash fear type thing. Like your back foot came off the board and it looked like you just weren't quite sure about what to do and so jumped off. So that's why I say build it up on small little baby steps. Just a little bit of speed and then a little bit more and then a little bit more than a little bit more. And if you ever have a hard time with doing it with a little bit of speed, take it back and just do a bunch of ollies on flat. I recently did a live skate support. I don't actually think it's up on the channel yet with Lance ollieing over a, uh, I think we did too actually, it was Lance ollieing with speed. Well that one would be really helpful for you, I don't know if it's up yet. And the other one is Lance ollieing over a Euro gap, which is like a little bump to gap, which he did need quite a bit of speed for, so he practiced with speed just on flat. And kind of what I went over to with him is very similar to you, but it did take him a surprising amount of confront and actually just not being scared. He just had to get over the fear factor. Because when you're going fast, now all of a sudden it's like, whoa, I can't fall going this fast. When actually, it's kind of better to fall going fast because you roll and your momentum goes less straight down into the ground and it goes forward. So it's actually a little bit softer. But yeah, we can get scientific on that later. Anyways, I hope that helped you. I hope you got some tips from this video. And yeah, for any of you guys looking to learn these tricks and more, definitely get Skateboarding Made Simple. There are five different volumes. It's available on iBook and at BrailleSkateboarding.com. Thanks for your support. You guys are the greatest.